Hello listeners and welcome back. Today we are going to be discussing the movie Ghosted. Ghosted is an Apple TV action rom-com starring Chris Evans as Cole, who falls head over heels for Sadie, played by Anna D. Armos, only to be ghosted. When Cole goes looking for her, he discovers that she is a secret agent. Before they can decide on a second date, they are swept into an adventure to save the world. The movie starts with Sadie re-evaluating herself and life after the death of a co-worker. Wanting comfort, she decides to get a plant like her co-worker had. This is how she meets Cole. Cole has just been dumped for being too clingy. Try being a little less needy. No, girls don't really like that. I'm not needy. When Sadie and Cole first interact, it starts cute but then turns slightly insulting when Cole offers her a cactus, a more lifeless plant, than her original one she chose. The conversation ends on a bad note but Cole is encouraged to go off to her anyway and is able to sway his way into a coffee date. The date goes really well and they end up spending the night together. While on the date, we find out that Cole is trying to write a book about farming but keeps putting his family in the way where Sadie reveals a past about her mum and why she isn't afraid of anything. After their night together, Cole continues to text Sadie but hears nothing for days, leaving him ghosted. After some encouragement from his family, Cole thinks it would be a grand romantic gesture to go and find her. So, being spontaneous, Cole travels around the world to find Sadie. Just when he thinks he has, he is kidnapped by mysterious men. This is where it is revealed that Sadie is a secret agent for the CIA and the bad guys have confused Cole with Sadie as the so-called tax man. So basically the plot is this bad guy Levesque stole a weapon and wants to sell it to the highest bidder but needs to get a code for the case in order to open the weapon. This is why Sadie's co-worker was killed as she figured out the code but was killed before anyone could find out what it was. The bad guys didn't know this and instead think that the tax man has it. That's why Levesque is going after Cole and Sadie because he thinks they have the code and if he doesn't get the code for the weapon soon his buyers are going to kill him. Meanwhile Sadie and Cole are on the run trying not to get killed in the process. While on the wrong Cole is trying to adjust to everything that is happening around him and process Sadie's lies. See this is what I'm talking about it's just lies and lies and more lies. Well Sadie is mad that Cole showed up and has compromised her mission while having to babysit him. And now they think you're me so they're looking for you tax man. Sadie tries to get Cole back home, so she gets them to an old friend, but things don't go as planned as all the bounty hunters seem to show up at the same time to collect. This is where we get a really funny cameo sequence of all these bounty hunters trying to take Sadie and Cole with them, but all at the same time. It starts with Anthony Mackie as the first bounty hunter, only to be shot by John Cho, another bounty hunter, just to then be killed by Sebastian Stain, yet another bounty hunter, just to get run over again by Anthony Mackie, who is slowly dying. This is definitely one of the more funnier and memorable moments from the movie. Sadie then gets information from him on where the bomb is and uses Cole as bait. This leads to a plane fight with Sadie and Cole parachuting out of the plane. Upside, however, they get the weapon. While on the island waiting to be rescued, Cole and Sadie bond more over life and her losing her mum. When the CIA turn up to save Sadie and Cole, so do the bad guys, allowing them to get the weapon back. The CIA don't know who to trust, so they put Cole and Sadie through a lie detector test. This is where they air out what has really been bothering them. Cole being mad at Sadie for lying and never allowing herself to get close to anyone out of the fear of being hurt again. I think you're afraid to get close to people because if you do, you might lose them. Just like you lost your mother. And Sadie being mad at Cole for blaming the things and people in his life from doing what he wants instead of just going after it. But I don't think they need you anymore. I think they're just an excuse to avoid life. While with the CIA, Cole figures out that a plant is the last piece of the passcode they need in order to open the case for the weapon, as he recognized it from the background of a photo. The genetic sequence of that amaranth is the passcode. Due to figuring it out, Cole is then roped in by the CIA to pose as the tax man so that they can get LeVar and the weapon. 
Sadie, however, is kicked off the case and sent home. Cole goes on to cover as the tax man, but just as it starts, the CIA agents backing him are killed. Cole decides to stay anyway. He is able to keep up the facade as a convincing tax man, but things soon start to slip. Luckily, this is just as Sadie turns up having completed the passcode and can now open the case. Once the case is opened, it does not take long before there is an all-out shooting. Sadie is caught in a shootout trying to protect the weapon, while Cole is battling it out in a fist fight. The fight ends with them swinging from window to window while being spun at high speeds, all the while trying to get the weapon as well as stay alive. All is well as they make it out alive and it cuts to them back at the farm having lunch with Cole's family. The movie wraps up with a glimpse into three months later showing Cole studying for research on his book while Sadie turns up to their date with a man tired in the back of her trunk, symbolising that even though they are from two different worlds they don't care and are making it work anyway. Overall, Ghosted was a fun watch as it held elements of action, comedy and romance, giving it a wide range of themes to make it enjoyable and engaging. Some memorable moments include the bus chase as it was suspenseful with them chasing each other near the cliff's edge, yet comedic with Cole falling into Sadie's lap mid-chase or just him being thrown around in general. Another funny moment of the movie is whenever Sadie and Cole are bantering, anyone that is around them at the time would always tell them to get a room. <laughs> would you rather I say that they wouldn't pay for this? is so cute. Get a room. Follow me to Europe. Lured by your lying. God, you two need to get a room. Sorry, you ass. You really need to my... shut up. Wow. You two should get a room. You two need to get a room. Ugh. Oh. Patty cameos in this movie were really fun with people like Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stain. How they were executed was also really clever and really funny, like with the bounty hunter scene where it was just cameo being killed after cameo after <laughs> after cameo. Brian Reynolds even makes a small cameo towards the end of the film when the characters are having their big shootout. But no, 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 of course it wasn't. I was losing too many body parts. That's not sustainable. But if you look on the bright side, I still have 20 vision. But honestly, you are never safe when it comes to a Ryan Reynolds cameo as he can show up anytime, any place, in any scenario and work his way into the scene. He doesn't even need to speak like we've witnessed in cameos like Bullet Train and he can still be there, but we love to see it though. In my opinion, I didn't think Ghosted was that bad of a watch. Not everyone thinks so, as a matter of fact. All the reviews I saw mainly stated how they did not like the film. They felt as though the actors had no chemistry and deserved better, and just found the whole thing flat and mediocre. But it's funny as all the reasons they listed for not liking this film is exactly why I did like it. First, I didn't think the chemistry between Sadie and Cole was that bad. They didn't restore my faith in love or anything, but their dynamic was still cute. As for the actors deserving better, they have done better films and will continue to do better films. But this film was not the flop of their career and the actors probably took on the roles just for fun or a good time anyway. Which brings me to my final point about the film being mediocre and having nothing special to it. It was never meant to be the next big Hollywood blockbuster movie that was meant to topple charts and blow audiences away with amazement. It was always meant to be just a fun time. I remember when I first saw the trailer and was interested to see this movie as it looked like it would be a good action romance with good actors and a comedic element. So going into the movie with this expectation, I finished it satisfied as it lived up to what I was expecting, making it a fun, guaranteed good time and recommendation. However, if you go into this film expecting John Wick action with like notebook level romance, it's not the film for you. However, if you're looking for a good hearted fun time with some action, then I recommend Ghosted as a good watch. That is all for this episode. As always, everything we discussed will be linked below along with my socials. Please be sure to like, subscribe and follow. Feel free to leave all your thoughts and comments below. Thanks for listening.